Welcome back, Malakas, to a new Magic Arena video, and if you'd like to help support the channel, Scoobs, then please consider leaving a comment and a like on the video, because it's very hard for smaller YouTube channels like this one to show up in the YouTube search algorithm, and if you're looking for the complete decklist, then check the description below. There'll be a decklist link, as well as a typed up version for you, Scoobs, but let's go ahead and get into this humans deck that I kind of brewed up, and I've been tweaking kind of here and there, and I think I've kind of got the final, like, the final deck, so let Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it, shall we, right? So we've got here four fatal pushes and four seal aways as our removal. But you know what? I'm getting way too ahead of myself, Scoobs. Let's talk about your bad matchups, right? The one matchup that I just didn't appreciate the most, I think, was the green steel leaf champion deck. You know what I'm talking about, Scoobs? Where they go like turn one, uh, land, elf, turn two, steel leaf champion, turn three, steel leaf champion, turn four, steel leaf champion. For some reason, they've got all four copies in their hand. Um... <sighs> This deck struggles against those kinds of decks because you can't really profitably block those Still Leaf Champions. In fact, a lot of the times you actually can't because most of the creatures have a toughness, or my bad, a power of two. Um, the way you can beat those kinds of decks is by keeping a Knight of Grace and a Knight of Malice back on defense or just a knight of malice with a radiant destiny because it becomes a four power um creature so it first strikes it before it even gets an opportunity but uh but yeah but anyway scoops i don't want to yap your ear off about it why don't you enjoy the gameplay and i'll see you next time all right this is not a bad hand and we're going first and so uh, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and keep it and we're gonna go turn to glint sleeve depending on what land we see if we see them drop some shenanigans so we're not gonna bother with it this will come into play tapped regardless, so I'm actually going to play the Concealed Courtyard. If I see a mountain or... Swamp's not so bad here. Yeah, I guess we can go Glint Sleep. Like, actually, you know what? Let's go Kite Cell here. If they're playing Fatal Pushes, then I want him to use a Fatal Push on this, but he's not actually this. So it looks like we're going up against a really awkward red-black deck. I should have taken his PNLR out. Chandra? He's gonna have to kill something here. Hey, over here. But he's still dead. Like, unless this is a fatal push in his hand, he's just dead. Oh, yep. You're flammable. Because your scrap heap can't block. No, not even fatal push, because none of these can get hit by it. There we go. So my opponent was on like a like a, almost a complete control type of plan. That that's so bad. Uh, Thopter Rest is not bad here. Not very good either. Beta Push. So I saw a total of one creature in its entire board that could get Fatal Pushed. Except for the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, Walking Ballistas. I'm going to remove a Fatal Push. Seal away as well. I don't think my opponent's playing a ton of creatures. I really don't. We can get rid of a Radiant Destiny as well. I kind of want to bring in Lyra Dawnbringer. But there's just a slew of removal I've got to get through. Argyle's Bloodfast is really good as well. Maybe another Seal away. Another Fatal Push. Two Argyle's Bloodfast. I mean, we can go two Sealaways for two Thopter Arrests. Because just like we saw like that last game, he didn't even have to swing with any of his creatures. They were just effective blocking as they were. Yeah, let's go like that. We'll go and... We can go a single Fatal Push, sure. I don't know when this is going to be valuable to use. Because like I said, I only saw one creature or two creatures that could actually get hit by it. But the Thopter Arrest, uh, it hits everything, so... But the Vraska's Contempts are pretty good here, too. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll run it with this right here. My opponent probably just put, like, more removal in this deck, so... We'll see what's up. And, like I said, I would have... That game would have ended a lot sooner, but I... Um, oh, no, I'm thinking about the still, the still Leaf deck I went up against previous to this. Wow! There's 24 lands in the deck, and I'm getting screwed almost every draw on land. Literally. Like, it's... Like, it's so bad. It really is. It feels unbelievably bad. 
Wow, okay. is he really on a mono red plan? Walk using walking ballistas? Okay. This could have been this could have been a fatal push, bro. Okay. You might just get out aggroed. Yeah, this will be the test. This will be the test spell. Because if he's got like a braid and stuff like that, he's going to use it on the Knight of Malice now, just so he can continue to swing versus using it on a Knight of Grace. Like 100%. If he uses like a black removal card, like, like, like oh wow, Glint Street Siphoner, so he's not even going to attack. That's great for us. I, I got a funny feeling this is not going to last very long, so I'm going to get in for the three damage while I can. Oh, my carrier? Okay. Yeah, it's still a sw No, it's a swing for five this turn. Puts us to two. I would have used the PNLR ability here. I really would have. Nope. But he had, he had to burn his hand. Okay. So my opponent just barely got there. We were behind the entire time. So we know we're going against a red deck wins now. So we're actually going to put these fatal pushes back in the deck. Like, for sure, for sure. Take the Argyle Bloodfast out. Lyra Dawnbringer's coming in for sure, for sure. I almost don't even want these Veraska's Contempts because they're slow. Mentor the Meeks. They help. They help the long game, but they're not exactly really good short game. So we're gonna keep in all of our slow removal spells. Bugler's pretty good. I just don't think Veraska's Contempt is where I want to be. I think on turn four, like I was, I had to, Veraska's can, I don't know. Let me think. Or Lear Dawnbringer is so powerful. It really is. Mentor is really powerful too. Glint Sleeve is just not very strong in this matchup though. The reason being is because Glinsleeve dies to every single removal spell they have. We need to ditch five cards though. Put a two Veraskas. Put a no Veraskas. Uh. Bugler's not bad. We'll go down a Bugler. We'll go down a Mentor. We'll keep it like that. So, the reason why we need the Leer Dawnbringers, like I said, if we could just keep it in play for like two turns, we generally just win the match. It's like, it's one of those cards. If she had Hexproof, yeah, she would be so good. She'd be on, uh, like, every white deck, anybody that plays white would play like a copy of like four of her. All right, this is not bad. We'll keep it. Turn one, swamp, turn... Actually, turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. Yeah, I had no idea my opponent was like that, though. I really didn't. I had no idea. Find Malice. They probably don't have a fatal push, but my guess would be. Glint Sleeve's not bad. We will for sure steal away it. The fact that they haven't dropped the mountain yet tells me that they're probably stranded on lands. So we're going to seal away their glint sleeve. Yep. I'll take your glint sleeve. You get the energy. If they drop a second glint sleeve, yeah, second glint sleeve here. Come on, buddy, really? 
Okay, um... We go mentor the meek here. We have to. And I'm, I'm basically just... I'm basically just... Crossing my fingers! Hoping my opponent doesn't have a removal spell for the mentor. That's what I'm hoping for. And it doesn't look like they do, so... We're gonna draw at least one card. At least one. Oh! Omi-san! Oh! A little dong ringa! I think that's what we just do. We just slam it. Like, how you doing, buddy? My opponent just concedes on the spot. It sucks to get land screwed like this, but... Like, these players, man, they're playing, like, these Tier 1 net decks. And I'm not saying this is a Tier 1 net deck, but I think this is the black-red um, mid-range-ish kind of... Uh, anyways. Sure. The Lira Dombringa! We have a Thopter Arrest, so we're gonna go one... Two. Yep. No, we. Oh, that's right. We got a. We got a other card in our hand. So we're gonna actually gonna thop to rest. No, I'm not gonna thop to rest the Glen sleeve just yet. Yeah, we'll swing the one. Unlicensed disintegration. Gration. Gration. No energy. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be a little conservative on the Thopter arrest, but there's no reason there's, we have to be. And we're for sure going to double block this uh, Glint Sleep here. The Scrap Heap can always just come back, so we'll pick our fights with that card. If they've got like a... Re even a removal spell is not a blowout here. It's still a two for two. And the fact that I'm playing Knights, Binding Strike, that's fine. Now they're stranded on reds again. Beaumont Courier. Oh, we'll just play another Mentor, I suppose, right? Oh, duck on it. We can't even do that. Okay. Like, I'm playing, like, poop right now. I am I am not a good example, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not, okay? Blocks it? Wow. Okay, let's go. We have lethal on board, so... Or, they've got to do five damage to us this turn. Like, a, an additional five. Without us blocking, and I don't think that's possible. Yeah, sure, we're going to block like that. Maybe he's got a Fatal Push in his hand, and they can just Fatal Push this. Plague Nair? Well, that's a good game. I can just if near's dead land this. Like, I, I don't even gotta use my Thopterus for that, and that's game. That is what I am talking about, Scoobs. But y'all know what I'm talking about, though, right? Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by. To spend some of your QOD time. And, uh, yeah. Stay classy.